Continuing on our theme of SEO, I thought this interview with Dwayne Forrester, which I recorded back in early 2019, would be helpful to show how structured data and schema is a key trust signal for search engines. We discuss why we should be using structured data on our website, how it impacts conventional SEO, and why it matters for voice and augmented reality. Structured data has come onto our radar a bit more, yeah. and I've been experimenting with voice search on our Google Home and Siri device. Yeah. I'm interested in how they relate to search optimization and how, um, how close we are to really needing to put a lot of effort into that. We know how difficult it is to manage all of that data. There, there's a lot out there. There's a lot still in there, in, in the company. Yeah. And just sometimes getting it out of the business owner's head and onto some yeah. paper, so to speak, is, is one challenge, and then pushing out there to yep. the right people online. So, Well, and, you know, I think you nailed it then, because, like, this is one of the biggest challenges, is that, that shop owner, whether it's a large company, a big brand, or an individual small mom-and-pop shop in a local community, they know at a muscle memory level mm -hmm. so much, and that never translates out, because they don't think it has any value. That's just... That's just their, their bread and butter. It's their every day. It's their waking moments. They're not looking at that saying that's secret sauce of any kind or that's proprietary information or a competitive differentiator. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's not up to the business to determine what's a competitive differentiator today. It's up to the consumer to make the decision on what resonates with them. Absolutely. And so, you know, that local shop owner talking about the generations of history that they have when their great grandfather started doing this on the side as a way to make some more money for the family. And here we are three generations later with a shop front and ongoing business and kids going to college supported by that business. But that resonates with a lot of people. And you telling someone that because they drag it out of you after they've been a customer of yours for 10 years, like you're not doing yourself any favors by keeping those stories to yourself. Yeah. And, you know, there's, there's real value in uncovering that data. And that's the, that to me is kind of like the meta conversation on top of your everyday information, you know, products, services, dimensions on elements and items, like all of these things. Um, we refer to them as entities, um, not to be confused with entities that are, you know, everywhere else in the yeah. world that are called entities for their own reasons. But uh, there, there's so much to this, and 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 again, you know, I'm not going to preempt this here, right? But structured data, pin for structured data. That's where we're at. I've always felt that search optimization is a constant cat and mouse game. It really is, and uh, I know oh, stru is. structured data has sort of bubbled up, and I know it's been around for a while, but it's bubbling oh, yeah. up to become more important. So, why is it helpful? What what is it? If you can give us a flavour, so, and then how is it helpful? Yeah. So I was actually part of the team that launched Schema.org. Um, with right. Bing and Google. Yeah. So I've been one of the early voices out there telling people, you should adopt schema, you should adopt structured data. Um, essentially what structured data does. Now, it's important to frame this correctly. Everything we are about to talk about takes place at a technical level in the code base of a web page. So consumers generally don't see the technical work that we are about to talk about. Uh, they see a different manifestation. The manifestation a consumer sees is something like uh, if you look at a Google map and you look up a business, you will see uh, the dollar signs denoting how expensive or inexpensive the business is. Um, you will see information around uh, star ratings and reviews. Yeah. That's generally some of the manifestations that you will see from this, right? Um, if you're a consumer and you've ever done a search and gotten an answer box at the top of the page, that's structured data. Very high probability that uh, structured data was involved in the sourcing of the answer that you see at the top of that search results box. So, um, so from here, though, what we're really talking about is we're talking about editing the code base of the page to, quote, wrap elements on your web page with um, trusted signals, if you will. Uh, they're, they're literally, I'll call them what they are, they're snippets of code, um, you know, but what it does is it says, these are hours of operation, and you put that snippet of code on either end of your hours of operation, and that code is designed in such a way that all of the engines will look at that and say, ah, okay, we trust that the information we read inside these pieces of code is the official hours of operation for the business. Got it. And they take that away and they use it for all of their purposes they use it for. Um, but structured data is applicable in so many broad-reaching mm. ways. We're talking about 
people, places, events. We're talking about products, services. Um, I, I highly encourage folks, go to schema.org. It's S-C-H-E-M-A dot O-R-G. That is the official website for the pro program uh, jointly operated by Google and Bing. Go into the library there. I challenge anyone to go through that library and not find something applicable for their business. I guarantee you there that there is markup. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's constantly being added to. It's constantly being expanded. And if, in fact, you do legitimately find yourself in a corner where you have a product or service or an object, an entity, if you will, that doesn't have a library reference piece of code assigned to it, you can suggest it to them. Right, okay. Now, they won't take it directly from you because that could be very self-serving as in, oh, this is appropriate to me, but nobody else. But if they see that multiple people in an industry are calling for the same thing and they don't have it, then they will update that. So there's a lot of like a technical conversation back and forth, mm -hmm. if you will, that happens through that space. So really what this does, though, is when you deploy this across your website and you, quote, mark up your elements, you're effectively telling the search engine, I've done the work to prove that I am accurate on this topic, whatever it happens to be. And if they agree that that looks like the correct information, then there's a higher level of trust placed in that. Right. So instead of them, every time they come to a web page, seeing it and saying, oh, we have to crawl everything, we have to parse everything, we have to understand everything, then we have to decide what to do with it and how much we trust it and everything else, they do that once. And then they say, oh, okay, well, this is really good because this is marked up, I trust this, we're done. And they move on to other things. So slowly but surely, I'm going to make this statement, but I need to qualify it. The schema and structured data is becoming a trust signal, mm. meaning those who have it get included in things and those who don't are, are not included in things. And we're seeing instances of that starting to play out. Great example of that. And it, it blends us into voice search a little bit. Um, Right now, I think it's something like 80% of the spoken answers on Google Assistant come from the featured snippet, that position zero, that answer box at the top of the search results page. Yeah. Most of those are attained through a combination of the way content is written to answer questions, the way it's structured, and the structured data that's applied to it. So no structured data, no answer box, no spoken answer. That is... In a nutshell, now, I'm oversimplifying that, okay, because you can find myriad examples of no structured data is an answer box, is not spoken out loud, or is spoken out loud, that kind of thing. But the vast majority of instances, that's the path that they follow. Yeah. So when it comes down to do I do it, uh, should I do it, when should I do it, how much should I do, um, yes, 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 all of it. <laughs> like, like, you need to start last year. That's when you needed to start. Um, but I say that jokingly because I've been telling people for the last seven years they yeah. should be doing it, right? So, so realistically, you know, once you get back to the office on Monday, you need to take this project and say, instituting uh, structured data across my website, it's something that's been on my radar. I've been thinking about it. You need to stop thinking. You need to take the action. So move that from the planning stage to the action stage. Go get it done. It's a bit of a pain in the ass because you got to, you know, you you got to do work in your code. Yep, There's absolutely. no way around that. Are there right? good examples like, on schema.org you know, of how to implement yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, very. Um, they're very good answers. In fact, when I say library, I mean that in the truest sense. You can copy and paste right. from what they have. Yeah. And so so the code that you need to apply is pre-written for you, mm -hmm. and you can copy that around your data, your content, in the code of your website. And then you're good to go when you hit publish, okay? Um, as well, there are structured data testing tools that will allow you to then run that web page through and make sure it's all parsing correctly, and then there you go. Um, generally, for most businesses, this is going to be a project. It's going to be a, you're going to tell someone they have to go do this for you. They're going to ask you a bunch of questions, um, and then you're going to go get them to do it. When the question of how much do we do comes up, the answer is, if it is applicable to your website, wrap that stuff in structured data. Yeah. I don't care if you can't think of a use case for it. That is irrelevant because it's not about what you can think of. It's about the other 7 billion people on this planet with connectivity that are surfing the internet that ask for something in their own unique way. That's, and you'll never be able to predict. So mark up as much as you can. 
that is the general rule of thumb. Uh, it's kind of like if you're going to do a tune-up on your automobile, you know, you don't just open up the hood and then change the spark plug wires and say, okay, I'm done. done you know, no, you change the spark plugs. You know, you make sure that your, your settings are all uh, correct for your, your heating, your cooling. You make sure that, um, you know, the coolant is up to date, that you've got fresh brake fluid, that your oil is changed. Like, that's a full tune-up. And doing anything short of that is kind of a lost opportunity. Structured data application is the same way. If you sit down and say, well, we're just going to do name, address, phone, number, hours of operation, but you're not going to include everything else, then you're shortchanging yourself because you're, you're paying money to get work done that should be deeper than it is. And you're just going to have to come back and do more of it later. Absolutely, you have to do it later. Before we move on to yeah. uh, voice, I was just wondering, yeah. by having this additional data in there, the additional schema data, does it give a, a positive signal that might improve your rankings as well? So, you know, this is, I'm really glad you brought that up because that was kind of in my head part two of what I was thinking of when I said that this is growing as a trust signal, okay? It should not be confused with something that boosts ranking. So just putting it in place does not suddenly give you a higher rank. No one should expect that. Hear my words. You will not get a ranking boost from just installing structured data. That is not the way this works. However, there are programs that the engines are running that pull structured data to inform answers. So if you are not running structured data, you are not included in those. So while your ranking doesn't change, uh, if everybody moves away from desktop and toward voice, and in order to rank in voice, you need to have structured data deployed, mm -hmm. you're not being penalized for anything, but I can guarantee you, you're going to lose traffic. So, you know, like you, you, this is today, and this is what I tell people today, um, doing structured data is no longer an advanced tactic. This is SEO 101. That's the baseline. You, you have to have this in place. Without it, you're just you're not as good an answer as a competitor, competitor who has it. Yeah, that's true. It's that simple, you know. And a great answer to when do I have to do it or how fast do I have to get this updated is look at your competitors. If your competitors largely do not have this deployed, then you are at the front of the curve. You are the pack leader, and this will differentiate you, and this will help you. If, however, any of them have this deployed or turned on, mm. you're hanging on by your fingernails. You need to seriously get this work done so you equalize the value signal that you showcase to a search engine. We've never seen a generation less loyal to brand. Really, yeah. Mm. And we've never seen an, a generation that relies less on friends and family and more on third-party reviews to make purchasing decisions. So the way that we sum this up at Yext is we say things like these new services that are out there, we'll, we'll use like an Amazon Alexa as an example. Mm. Uh, you, you can't control the UI. Okay, so that user interface, you, you got nothing. You, you can't say this is better than that. They control that. They control the AI. So the machine learning, that's all on them. It's a black box. They're never going to open it. They're never going to explain it. What you can control, however, is the data that they have about you. And that is becoming foundationally important. So the idea of doing basic SEO, technical SEO, content development, all of that is great. And that's your baseline. It has to happen. You now also have to factor in the concept of digital knowledge management as the overarching strategy that wraps all of that and the structured data work and third-party aggregating sites and locations that might also take your information. Mm -hmm. Because if you go look at the crawlers across the average website, most of the crawl activity is not Google or Bing or any of these, these actual service uh, crawlers from a search engine. Most of this is from random third-party websites just looking to suck down data from your site. And if you have 200 locations where your hours of operation show up and 175 of them are accurate and 25 of them are incorrect, the search engines are starting to wonder which of these two data sets is accurate. Yeah, it comes back well, to trust again, doesn't it? Yeah. It completely does. And, yeah. it, and trust at a very macro level, like yeah. at the highest level, yeah. you know, whatever level you think you're looking at it on, go higher. And that statement repeated over and over again until you're sitting there in orbit looking down on it and you have a true view. Like, that's when you know, okay, I can refocus and pull back in a little bit. If you'd like to find some practical ways you can include schema in your website, sign up to my marketing club as a pro member and check out webinar number five, how to get five-star reviews.
When you join, you'll also receive regular tips and advice on marketing, video, and the web, so you can become more effective in business. Pro members get access to my live marketing webinars every month, plus all previous webinars, and there's over a thousand minutes of content now. Um, plus there's an audio version of the podcast if you like to listen while you walk the dog or do the washing up. There's exclusive discounts and other perks, and you can find out more by visiting ratherinventive.com slash club. That's ratherinventive.com slash club. Bye.